Hey everybody, this is Phoenix Down, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda. In the last episode, Goma was the boss of level 6, but then he took an arrow to the eye. And now that we only have two more pieces of the Triforce of Wisdom left to acquire, it's time to head on over to level 7. So what I'm going to do is whistle up a little bit of wind with the help from the recorder, and transport over to level 4 right in the path of a P-Hat. Ah, nuts! Game, you did that on purpose, didn't you? Eh, whatever. Just move on this way. Get out of my way, Octorok. Get away from me, boy. You're bothering me. Take care of these guys. Now, before entering level 7, you want to make sure you have about 100 rupees on hand. But you also need to make a little purchase beforehand, too. You could have done this sooner. But I wasn't really going to, uh... Bother with the item in question until now. So I figured may as well just wait. Take out the blue levers. Make some money. Remember this place? The shop we got the blue ring from? Well, I am getting really, really hungry, so I'm going to buy some meat on a bone. The enemy bait, the food, whatever you want to call it. You can use it as an item on the field, and it'll like attract octoroks and moblins and certain beast type monsters. Like it doesn't work on whizrobes or dark nuts or anything. But like moblins, gorias, stuff like that, you can uh, attract to uh a singular spot to make them either easier to kill or make it so that uh, you can avoid them easier. But uh, again, I don't really use it very often, but it does have another use that we'll get to shortly. But anyway, we need more more money now that I uh, spent 60 rupees on that food. This food is pretty scarce these days. So I'm going to burn down a couple trees around this area and find some secrets to everybody. All right, Moblin, I need some cash. You better be loaded. 10 rupees. Ah, come on. I could have killed your buddies in the forest for more than that. Nah, yeah, whatever. All right. Well, that was a bust, but he's not the only Moblin around here with a secret. So let's do some more Moblin shakedowns. Come on, buddy. You better not disappoint me as soon as you finish loading. All right, 100 rupees. The third and final 100 rupee moblin. And actually, I think that's the last secret to everybody in the game, too. So that's, uh... Guess save one of the best for last. Sure, why not? But anyway, if you remember in lo level 6, there was an old man that told us that there was a... a little hint about, uh, that uh, there's a secret where fairies don't live. Well, we have a fairy in that lake over there that restores your health if you need it. I was okay, but... Come up here, we have another lake that's only occupied by, uh, you know, an orange moblin, and there's no fairies. So what we're going to do is we're going to play the recorder. Oh, and just like a little side note, yeah, there's the entrance to level 7 right there. While I was preparing to record this, I kind of, like, remembered something about the recorder music. It was actually used as part of the uh, title theme for uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. It's just, like, something that was just... It just crossed my mind as I was thinking about what to say for this episode. So that's a nice little touch that they, they reuse certain melodies and everything. Speaking of music, we got the, the classic dungeon theme going for level, level 7 like all the other levels. You know, despite the fact it's like a 30 second track, this is like a music, I could like listen to this for like hours and not get tired of it. Not like, not like focused intently on it or anything, but like in the background. I could like walk around town with this as my like my personal theme or something and I'd be okay with it. I don't know what that says about me as a person, mind you, but you know, I, I could dig that I dig this theme despite how simple and it is. And we have some keys, so we killed the central keys. Okay, I'll take it. So let's travel this way. Level seven. It's about the second largest level in the in the game, I'd say. Like, as far as, like, actual scope is concerned. It covers over about two-thirds of the, the whole map space available. And we have Return of Dig Dogger. All right. Okay, you get close enough. All right, play the whistle. Get into the menu real quick. Plant a bomb, plant a bomb. Haha, -ha, take that. Haha. -ha. That was easy. Still no match for me, Dibgogger. And we have Stalfos, there are so many of them that it's causing slowdown. 
Haha, <laughs> but now they are frozen in place. And that guy's got a key that I don't really need. I got more keys than I know what to do if I don't think there are enough locked doors left in the game for me to use all the keys that I have. Let's see, I know one of these rooms has a, a bombable uh, wall. I think it, or maybe I'll just walk out through this door. All right. There's a secret in the tip of the nose. On the nosy. Be a little more specific, old man. It might be more clear once we get the map. This place is kind of resembles a face of sorts. Anyway, this is the room before with the keys. You know, we have this uh, central wall there and everything, or all that barriers. But we can bomb this wall here. And I'm going to pull out the uh, candle again. And we got more Stalfos that we know what to do with. Stalfos is... Yeah, the thing about level 7 is despite, you know, you'd think that they'd be scaling up the difficulty a little bit more. But, you know, we're re revisiting enemies from the f very first level of the game. I mean, there's like in greater quantities. I mean, now that we have the magical sword, the, the, the red Gorias can go down in one hit. I mean, that's... You know, nothing to really worry about. I think I can bomb the wall down here. Fill up the map, just just for the sake of completioning, completing things. Alright, take that, you guys. We've got more bombs. Don't think I really need them, per se, but I'll take it. Alright, I want to go this way first. So in here, we got Dodongos. You know what? Oh, I already have the bombs equipped. Sure, I'll take you guys out. Take that. All right. Ha ha ha. All that for five rupees. Ah, oh, come on. Anyway, I'm going to use a key up here. Because this old man is going to expand our bomb supply once again. I will take that. I can now carry 16 bombs. We are loaded with bombs now. That's the last time we can upgrade the uh, bomb bag. We got some more keys and some bladed traps. And more bombs that we don't need now. I miss my sword beams though. And we got ropes. Forgot these guys were in this level. You don't see ropes very often in this game. But that's about all there is over here. I'm th I did fill out all my map, right? Okay, yeah. Going back up this way. So I figure I'm going to fill out the map for like all all eight of the levels, but I probably won't do it for level nine, just because of how big that place is, and how dangerous a lot of the rooms are. Ah, uh, boo. Uh, I keep forgetting that I can do that thing with the recorder. Where you play the recorder after uh, being hit by the uh, bubble. And it like takes up enough time for the jinx effect to wear off. It's like, it's something I learned from watching H.C. Bailey's Let's Play of this game. So it's just kind of like, it's not something I've done in practice in the past. And we got another Dig Dogger, okay. Uh, oh wait, whoops. Play the music first. Jump into... The menu, um, what the? You split a bit to three. All right. Yeah, see, this is how a Dig Dogger gets tougher. You know, instead of just shrinking into one smaller version of himself, he splits into three little ones. It's like a, like how a cell divides only in three instead of two. Something like that. We got more rupees. Which we really don't have much use for anymore. Yeah, we got pretty much all we can get. Rupee wise, grumble, grumble. What the? Let me through, guy. Come on. This, this guy's standing guard, but uh, you know, if I attacked him, the fire was going to, were going to shoot fireballs at me. Well, he's grumbling. It's because his stomach is growling. We offer him food, and he allows us passage. Yeah, that. I think that. Threw off a lot of people back in the day. Uh, I need the candle. But yeah, that screwed up a lot of people once upon a time. 
Ah, nuts. Ah, bubbles. But yeah, we have the map. See how, like, the shape of the place? It kind of looks like a snake head of sorts. Kind of like that. Haha, <laughs> take that. I don't have my beam sword anymore. Take that, keys. I kind of got lost in a moment there for a second. Yeah, bubble. Take that. Alright, I got my beam sword back. Fortunately, bubbles don't actually hurt you. We do have this weird blank spot on the map, though. You bomb that wall, it's an opening. And we have a little stash of rupees. Not very much, but it's something. And we can bomb this wall and progress so we don't have to use one of our keys on that door back there. And we got Gorias again, and I uh, took a hit. But luckily, the blue shield uh, protected me well enough. Alright, the doors are open. I'm going to take the uh, door on the right first. Ah, uh, crap. This is like that room in level 2 again. Except there's more Gorias this time. But I'm better prepared for it. Got all these fireballs and Gorias and you don't really get anything for that room, but it's there. And now I'm going to head down this way. How am I doing when filling out the map? Ah, nuts. Got a little... Got kind of caught up in the moment again. Wait. There we go. So I'm trying to remember if I can actually... I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. I can't remember if this is a bombable wall or not. No, it isn't. Ah, uh, no, that's... Of course not. That leads to the boss. We go over in this room. Ooh, I can hear the boss. He sounds nasty. Wonder what nasty... Uh, uh, to use that word. Hey, oh, no, that'll work. So let's push this block. Come down here. Whip out the uh, boomerang. Get out of my face, Keys. Out of my face. And we got the red candle. Yeah, too many syllables. It kind of fit, but not well enough. So basically, uh, now I can shoot little flames as many times as I like. And I'm going to blast a hole in this wall here because you can't progress otherwise. Gonna work our way over to the tip of the nose. Yeah, they're kind of stepping up their game a little bit with the, the monsters now. Haha, <laughs> take that. Yeah, I'll take those bombs. I'm gonna go up first. I'm, I'm essentially wasting keys because, okay, we got more Moldorms. Not nearly as bad as his counterpart in uh, Link to the Past. He doesn't have a pit that can knock you down several levels in the same dungeon. So I'll take that. Open this door here. And what do we have waiting for us here? We got once more with Dig Dogger. Ah, crap. Yeah, Dig Dogger hurts. It's kind of like he's got like a buzzsaw outer core or whatever. All right, we want to kill the, the components quickly because they get much faster as the longer you leave them on the screen. And we got Dodongos, which aren't really worth killing. Ah, nuts. Let me take that. Come on, give me heart. Fairy. Okay, I'll take that. This isn't really worth doing, I'm just kind of doing it because he's there. Alright, Dick Doggo. Or Dodongo, whatever. Alright, I got all my bombs back. And I open up this door here. The tip of the nose. There's nothing but bubbles. Why are there only bubbles? Because you go up against the wall. We got wall masters. And I do not want to get the clock because... Usually, getting a clock is a good thing. However, if you get the uh, clock and there are wall masters still in the walls, they will not come out. 
Okay, I think that's all of them. So now I'm going to push this central block here and open up a staircase. And I don't really care if the bubble, these bubbles hit me. That's not really that big of a deal. Go down these stairs. We got a little passageway. Take that keys. Nuts. Ah, well. Not that bad. And we got Gorias again. Give me my full health. Ha 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 ha. Nuts. Okay, that's good. Now, how should I approach the boss this time? I used my sword last time. For the dreaded menace of Aquamentus. Now, if I wanted to, I could just do that. Like one more bomb. And he's dead. I could have done that back in level 1. It probably would have saved me some trouble, but eh, whatever. But we defeated Aquamentus. We got a heart container. And now... We got the Triforce! We have defeated level- cleared level 7! The weird snakehead dungeon, or whatever. Only one more to go, as far as pieces of the Triforce of Wisdom are concerned. And next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, we will go after that. Head on over to level 8, and complete the Triforce. This has been Phoenix Down, and I will see you guys next time.